Dr. Ken Whitty, did we really land on the moon? Well, kiddo, that is a really stupid question. But anyway, I will answer it in a minute. Alpha, omega, kinetic, energy, stupid questions, answer cleverly. Well, my dear comrades, I can't believe we still have to discuss this, but here we are. Some folks out there still believe the moon landing was all a hoax, cooked up by NASA in a Hollywood studio. But let's put on our skeptical hats and examine these claims, shall we? On July 20th, 1969, humanity allegedly achieved one of its greatest feats, landing on the moon. But almost immediately, conspiracy theories began to circulate, claiming that the entire Apollo program was staged. So. Let's first look at the original footage ourselves. In 15 seconds, guidance is internal. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have a liftoff. Shadow. Four forward, drift into the right a little. Turning wrong up. There you go. Quite interesting, huh? Now, folks, let's shed some light on why some people think all this was faked. Conspiracy theorists claim all six Apollo missions didn't happen in the way NASA presented them. To support their claims, they point to these photographs. In some picture, it is suggested that areas that are lit from behind should be in dark shade, but here they are clearly visible. In other pictures, people observed irregularities in how objects threw shadows on the moon's surface. Here you can see the two shadows don't run parallel to each other, making it impossible to be lit directly by the same light source. No stars are visible in any of the Apollo 11 mission's photographs. The moon's gravity corresponds to one-sixth of Earth's gravity, but when footage of the astronauts walking on moon is sped up, it appears they are walking in normal speed with Earth's gravity. In the alleged film set scenario, to jump higher, they allegedly used wires. The moon holds no atmosphere, so people are wondering why the flag seems to be waving in a breeze in this clip. This is not the only evidence conspiracy theorists bring to the table. They further claim that the technology of the late 1960s wasn't advanced enough to accomplish a moon landing. The calculations needed for a successful flight would have been too intense for the computers at that time. They also doubt that the spacefaring technologies of that time were sufficiently safe to transport astronauts to the moon and back. The very device you are using right now to watch this video is much more powerful than what they had back then. Some deniers even argue that the moon landing was a political maneuver to win the space race against the Soviet Union. They believe that the USA faked the moon landing to showcase their technological superiority. After all these wild claims, it is time to debunk them, my comrades, by no other than your trustworthy source of valuable knowledge, Dr. Ken Whitty. Lighting. The central claim conspiracy theorists make is the only light source on the moon should be the sun. That is correct. What they're apparently not able to realize is that light bounces off objects. That is exactly what's happening in the pictures of the Apollo 11 mission. It's not just about the sun's direct rays and the shadows they cast. Oh no, there's a whole other factor at play here. The vast lunar surface surrounding the astronauts acting as a massive backdrop of sorts, bathing everything in a subtle backlight. Also, light bounces off those shiny spacesuits and the gleaming lunar module itself. No studio equipment at play here. Shadows. Those non-parallel shadows seen in some of the photographs lead moon landing critics to believe there must be multiple light sources at play, further boosting their film set scenario. Would those people really know anything about film? They would also know that such irregularities can come from the fisheye effect of cameras. You see, when you're dealing with wide-angle cameras and lunar topography, things can get a bit wonky. Shadows can take on a life of their own, thanks to this nifty thing called perspective. It's like when you're snapping pics on Earth, 
ever noticed how shadows can seem to converge or diverge? Same deal on the moon, my friends. No stars. The non-existence of stars in the photos taken from the moon can also easily be explained. Our peepers aren't quite cut out for that lunar light show. You see, our eyes are like fancy cameras, adjusting their iris in response to light. But here's the kicker. They can't handle both the brightness of the lunar surface and the darkness of space simultaneously. Picture this, you're on the moon, trying to snap some stellar shots. But if you crank up the exposure to catch those twinkling beauties, you'd end up with a washed out foreground. And let's be real here, folks. Our astronauts weren't up there to capture the stars. They had more pressing matters like documenting the lunar landscape and, you know, taking selfies with the flag. But that they don't teach you in school, do they? Waving flag. Why was the flag waving if the moon has no atmosphere? You see, when the astronauts were setting up the flag, they weren't just plopping it into the ground like a mailbox. They were inserting a horizontal bar along the top edge of the flag to keep it stretched out and visible. This bar wasn't rigid like a steel beam. It had some flexibility to it. So, when the astronauts let go of the flagpole after planting it, the flag didn't hang perfectly still. Instead, it had a bit of movement due to the springiness of that horizontal bar. Now, add in the fact that the footage we see is often taken from a distance and at different angles, and it can create the illusion of the flag waving when it's actually just settling into place. I bet you didn't know that. Political stunt. First off, it's true that the space race between the USA and the Soviet Union was as heated as a rocket engine. But to suggest that the moon landing was just a political stunt to one-up the Soviets? Well, that's like saying Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa just to show off. You see, folks, the moon landing wasn't just about planting a flag and sticking it to the competition. It was the culmination of years of scientific research, technological innovation, and sheer determination. From developing the Saturn V rocket, to training astronauts for the rigors of space travel, it was a monumental effort involving thousands of people, not just a handful of politicians trying to score points. And let's not forget the international collaboration that went into the Apollo missions. Scientists and engineers from around the world lent their expertise to make the dream of lunar exploration a reality. So to suggest that it was all just a ploy for political gain, well, that's about as believable as a rocket made out of cheese. And so, my fellow truth seekers, we arrive at a resounding conclusion. The moon landing was indeed real. <gasps> but before we close the chapter on this grand adventure, let's pause for a moment and ponder the sheer magnitude of what it would take to fake such a monumental feat. Consider this, the rocket launch itself was witnessed by millions, a spectacle etched into the collective memory of generations. Then there's the tangible hardware, the Saturn V rocket, a towering marvel of engineering, its design meticulously documented in official blueprints. Think of the countless hours of labor, the sweat and toil poured into its creation. Now, imagine the Herculean task of fabricating all these records, these documents, these tangible artifacts of human ingenuity. It's a dizzying thought, isn't it? All that effort, all that energy expended to perpetrate a grand deception, when the simpler path would have been to just go to the moon. So as we bid adieu to the moon landing conspiracies, let us not forget the indomitable spirit of exploration that propelled us to reach for the stars, a spirit that continues to inspire us to this day. Well, kiddo, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. For more interesting videos like this, leave a like and subscribe to this channel. You don't want to die stupid, do you? And feel free to ask more questions in the comments down below.